I swear sometimes wearing a hat makes your hair more itchy than it normally is. Hey guys, it's Alvin. So wow, it is already July, which means a lot of things. Summer's here, the birds are singing, people are puking their guts out left and right at weekend festivities. Oh god. So recently, I've been obsessed with this really cool app called Reveal, and what it basically is, is this really cool app where you can post pictures and videos where your followers can choose to see them for 24 hours or even forever. In a way, it's kind of like if Snapchat and Instagram had a baby, and this would be its creation. The really cool feature about this app is the fact that your followers can ask you questions, and you can have the option to reply with a quick video or a picture. So here's one of mine. You know, that's a really tough question. Mm. Am I a PC or am I a Mac? Hmm. Very difficult question. How cool is that? So that is why for this week's video, I'm going to be doing another Q&A since you guys seem to really enjoy the last Q&A video that I made a while ago. So I'm going to be answering your reveal questions right here, right now. Let's get started. Taylor Laughlin asks, what would you do if your crush walked into your house and no one was home but you two? I think it's pretty obvious. We'd watch Netflix, duh. And no, you pervs, I don't mean the Netflix and let's chill kind of date. I mean just watch Netflix because if you watch Video Game High School, The Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, Attack on Titan, you'd be the perfect crush for me. But the thing is, no one really seems to watch those shows, so no crush for me. Aiden Barry asks, if you could have any superpower in the world, what would it be? I think the only superpower that I would enjoy having would be the power to heal because you'd be able to heal anybody that's sick or dying or anyone that you don't want to lose. So I think that'd be a pretty cool superpower, like a selfless one, you know? Caitlin Phillips asks, what's the most embarrassing thing you've ever done on a date? I seem to remember burping really loud in front of the first person that I was actually going on a date with and they thought it was pretty funny. So I don't think that's an embarrassing thing to be exact. <laughs> Peter Maxwell asks, is is Tinder the root of all dating evil? Well, I mean, if you use Tinder for the wrong reasons, then obviously it can be the root of all evil because you'd be opening a can of worms that you don't know whether they could be or mm, yes. Tinder is the root of all dating evil, okay? Sean Bree asks, hashtag cool for the summer, buy Demi Lovato's new single on iTunes tonight. Brittany Rivera said, Kale, love it or leave it? Now, is this a real question because... I don't know. Should I love it? Should I leave it? I can't decide. You have to decide for me. David Mendoza asks, Have you ever done something you can't forgive yourself for with a lot of question marks and a really smirky face? I'm pretty sure we've all done things that we can't forgive ourselves for because, I mean, that's just life. But yes, I have done something that I'm not very quite proud of that I can't forgive myself for. Jimmy Martinez asks, would you rather be a character in Toy Story or Spongebob? I would rather be a character in Toy Story. As a character who always carries a camera around, I have no clue why. I just feel like that would be my character. Cam Harrington asks, how would you feel if somebody in your family could read your mind? Um, I would be a little bit scared and a little bit anxious because if someone can read my mind, I have a lot of things going through my mind. And I don't really think that they would like what I'm thinking of because... I'm me and I have a lot of different thoughts. So if someone in my family could read my mind, I would be a little bit scared. Because I think a lot. I overthink a lot. <laughs> Noah Valentine asks, You're on a cross-country road trip with your friends that can only pack four things. What do you bring? No, wait. Ugh, this is a hard question. My phone, my phone charger, my laptop, and my laptop charger. Four things. Very simple. Hannah Hotstetler asks, Would you rather be trapped in a cage with an untamed lion or lick a hobo's foot? Okay, I think that being trapped in a cage with an animal such as a lion would be pretty dang cool, but there's no telling what this lion would do to me. Then again, you have the option to lick a hobo's foot. Now, you won't die from licking a hobo's foot that same day as you would if you were the lion in a cage. You might die a little bit later because that hobo's foot, who knows where it's been, but I'm going to be taking that chance, so I'm just going to lick the hobo's foot and cross that bridge when I get there. Brett Bogus asks, what's your favorite song? Sing your answer. So the song that I am currently obsessed with right now is Maroon 5's This Summer's Gonna Hurt Like a Mother I'm gonna try my best to sing, but I guarantee that it will not be the best. Brady Port asks, are you okay with same-sex marriage? Of course. Why wouldn't I be? Why wouldn't you be? Giarash Parsa asks, what is Sofia Vergara's bra size? 
I don't really know what her bra size is, but I do know that her husband knows, so ask him next time. And lastly, Javi Medina asks, do you have any major plans for the summer? So yes, I actually have an announcement to make for you guys, so are you ready for it? <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna be at VidCon this month! Okay, not as an actual featured guest, but I'm gonna be there! So if you wanna come and meet me and hang out and do stuff that people do at VidCon, you know that I'm gonna be there. So if you want, let's do it! Also, I'm going to be staying in LA for seven days that week. So during that time that I'm going to be there, I'm going to be bringing you guys new videos every day. Think of it like Vlogmas, but in July and only for seven days. <laughs> well, there you guys go. I certainly hope that you enjoyed this week's video of this Q&A. And if you did, then as always, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And also, please go ahead and leave a comment saying if you're going to be at VidCon. This way, you know, we can have some common ground and hang out. And if not, but it's okay. It's up to you, like I always say. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching this week's video, and until next time, I bid thee fare thee well. Goodbye.